videos ago, we found a way of finding conditions to um, describe W perp. Last video, we proved that W perp is actually a set space. Now we'll put the two together and prove uh, and get a basis for a W perp. So I'm looking at R4 as a vector space, but with a stranger inner products. Um, this is going to be our inner product. It's going to be x1, y1 plus 2x2, y2 plus 3x3, y3 plus 4x4, y4. And I want to know um, what w part for w generated by these two. Alright, so I'm going to start by using the proposition. Let me take... Um, let's call it V, which is A, B, C, D in R4. Now, from the proposition that we looked at two videos ago, we know that this will be in W part if it's perpendicular to the two generating factors. So, by the proposition, V is in W perp exactly when two things, um, V with 1, 0, 2, 0 is 0. So 0 is equal to um, v, so a, b, c, d, and 1, 0, 2, 0. And I need it to be perpendicular to the other one as well, but let me first spell this out. Um, it's going to be this product times 1, this product times 2, that's 0, um, this product times 3, so that's 6c, this product um, times 4, so that's 0, this needs to be equal to 0. Alright, so that's my first condition. The second one is that ABCD is also perpendicular to my second vector here, so that's 1, 0, minus 1, 1. So that's A, 0, minus 3C, plus 4D. Alright, so we turn the language about inner products and perpendiculars to the subspace into and a system of two equations. So now W perp is the solution set, or solution space since it's a homogeneous system, of A plus 6C is 0, and A minus 3C plus 4D is 0. All right, so we know how to find basis for solution space. I just need to reduce the system using a matrix and I have the reduction here I got 1 0 0 8 thirds got 0 0 1 minus 4 ninths so I have two free variables I have S and T here, so that means A, B, C, D is um, 0, 1, 0, 0, S, so B is completely independent from everything else, and then um, from the second equation, uh, from T being 1, I'll get 4 ninths for C, B is not there, and I'll get minus 8 thirds for A. And so my basis will simply be these two factors right here.
in this case, since the vector space was R4, we don't need to translate it back into polynomial or matrices, but you might have that extra step if you start with um, a subspace of matrices or polynomials or functions or anything of that sort.